today I wanted to do a little bit of a different review. Normally when I do my reviews I basically show you the swatches and the looks and maybe some tutorial and then talk about my opinions about the products. But in this video I wanted to use the products and demonstrate them for you while I review them. Just to spice up things a little bit. And I have of course used those products several times before so I know how I feel about them. I just wanted to do something different with my reviews because I feel like I'm always doing the same same all the time. I hope that you will enjoy it. I know that I'm late to the game but I'm going to talk about the Profusion TMNT collection which is a collab between Profusion Cosmetics and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was such a big fan of this show when I was a kid so I was so stoked when I saw this collection. The first thing is this collection is the mirror. It looks like this. It's super cute, really detailed, sparkly. I love the color. It has a good size and it's really nice and sturdy and I almost use my profusion mirrors every time I do my makeup. And I like that they come out with mirrors so often because it's such a nice collectible item if you don't want the other products or if you want something that will last forever. Unless you break them. <laughs> then we have three cream gel eyeshadows. They come in the iconic green color, it comes in a purple color and then it comes in a very beautiful peachy orange shifty duochrome yumminess. I have used them on my eyes and I feel like if you have creasy eyes they can be a little bit hard to work with. I like to use them underneath a shimmer and then top it with some kind of sparkly shimmer to prevent them from creasing. They are really pretty, I like the shade selection. You get a bunch of product in the container. So if you are interested in this kind of product, I think it's really nice. But for me it's not something I use for every day because I feel like you really need to be careful with how much you apply. And I have to mention that I'm not someone who gets creasing a lot of times. so. Maybe I just have a bad luck with cream eyeshadows, so to say. <laughs> I actually like to use those cream eyeshadows as highlighter or blush on the cheeks, depending on what shade it is. Uh, today I figured that I should try the shade Orange O's on the cheeks and see how it works as a blush slight highlighter. I have no idea how it's going to look, but it's such a beautiful shade, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to take this little brush from the Profusion uh, Jurassic World collection. I really like this brush because it's such a nice uh, size. I took quite a lot of product so I need to apply it on the other cheek to spread it out. Oh, hopefully it won't dry out. Oh wow, I took so much product, that was stupid of me. I will go around with really sparkly cheeks now. Hmm. It definitely works, but I need to fix this situation because I picked up way too much product. Oh, this was a bad decision. Why did I do this? Entertainment, of course. Okay, I need to hurry up. Oh, what I'm going to do? I'm taking this blender and hurry up. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the camera, but uh, I personally find that this shade is quite light on my skin, so I wouldn't use it as a blush again, but I will definitely use it as a highlighter, because it has a really nice glow and it looks pretty nice, I have to say. So now I have proved that it definitely works on cheeks. I won't try the green or purple one though. Not for this look anyway. And last but not least, the star of the show. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 24 shade eyeshadow palettes. Mine looks a little bit beaten up because I'm someone who actually uses my makeup. Uh, no shade there. <laughs> and I have actually put on some stickers on the on the packaging because I found them so cute. And those stickers are in the PR box. I'm not sure if they will be av available for sale or not, but I will put it up on the screen if they are. And yeah, I will use it on my eyes, I will prime my eyes off cam because that's nothing interesting for you to see. And after that I will dip into the beautiful eyeshadows. I actually remembered one more thing in this collection. There is a pack of beautiful uh, false lashes. So I wanted to tell that before I forget it again. And those lashes are really cool, they have some color on the tips and they are super pretty. 
They are a little bit too short for my personal liking, but I like to use them as lower lashes. If you have pretty short natural lashes, I think that you will like them on the upper lashes. And especially if you are someone who haven't been dipping into colored lashes before, it's a good way to start, I feel like. The quality of the false lashes from Profusion Cosmetics is really nice. I like them and they come in a lot of different, uh, different variations. Alright, so now I'm going to create a look. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for. Hmm. I feel like I'm always dipping into the greens, so I will try to not do that. I think I will start with the purple today. And with this formula, I find that it's best with you if you tap the eyeshadow on the lids first and then blend. And this is to get out the most pigmentation out of it. And this is such a gorgeous purple tone, by the way, if you're into that kind of color. Which you of course are, because why otherwise would you be here? I was actually thinking about something the other day. And that is that, you know, I'm not a native speaker in English and when I talk, I talk very different from when I write, I feel like. And um, my grammar is so much better when I write compared to when I'm talking. So I'm like, why is this difference? Because I know exactly how to write and talk, but still it's something different. But I have to be honest, I feel like my way of speaking has improved so much since I started YouTube. And I'm pretty sure that it will continue to improve. As you can see, the mattes are pigmented, they are pretty easy to blend, but I always talk about the good profusion formula, the excellent formula and the okay formula. I would say that this formula is somewhere between the good and excellent formula because the mattes are the good formula in my opinion and the shimmers are the excellent formula. But I'm so happy to have this palette in my collection because it's such a striking and inspiring color story to me and the packaging is just on point it's super cool it has this really cool effect with uh, I don't know how to call it but you can see that it's um, not water it's some kind of yell inside it I will probably show you some close-ups of how it looks like uh, and it's so cool <laughs> maybe a little bit childish but I'm Still a child, you know. Alright, I'm going to pick another shade. And I will try to do something different. I think I will pick up the yellow and put it here next to the purple in the inner part. And if you know color theory, if you mix yellow and purple, you will get a brown shade. So avoid blending them too much. I'm just dragging it here above. This reminds me of a flower. I'm not sure what it is called in English. I barely know what it's called in Swedish to be honest because I'm not a flower person but they are pretty to look at. Okay guys, as you can see here I accidentally did blend a little bit but I'm kind of liking this tone it's giving, so let's go with it, but just a little bit. And if you're new to my channel, I want to tell you that I never plan my looks, so this could go however you <laughs> I'm so bad at planning my looks, I wish I was better at it, but somehow I just can't plan things. I'm going in with a quite thin liner brush because I'm going to dip in into a darker purple shade and do some kind of a swirly shape. I haven't quite decided the sign yet, but we will see how it goes. So I'm basically placing the brush here in the crease, following the crease a little bit. Okay. So this is the shape I apparently decided to do. 
I haven't zoomed in today because I have noticed that I tend to forget to remove the macro lens when I zoom in. And then the whole video gets super blurry. And uh, to go back to the color story thing, I feel like if you are a little bit um, afraid of bold colors and you aren't familiar with, familiar with color theory, this palette can be a little bit intimidating, I have to say that, because uh, a lot of those shades can become muddy if you blend them and you don't know how to mix them. Sorry, I have to fix this because I don't know what I did with this shape. Some of you guys maybe has noticed that my videos doesn't have any subtitles anymore and that's because the editing program I use have made this function so you need to pay for it to get the automatic captions and I don't know if it's worth it or not so please give me feedback do you understand what I'm saying <laughs> because I feel like sometimes it can be hard with my accent and the way I speak so please let me know if you understand what I'm saying and if you want captions and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I re realized that the shapes were quite off on the eyes and this is because my eyes are quite different shapes. So what I'm basically do so what I'm basically trying to do is to move this inner part a little bit more closer to the nose bridge and I will do it on the other side too because it will give the illusion that the sh the design is as similar as possible but I will but I can't stress enough that if you are frustrated when you're doing those creative looks and you can't make it e look even it's not your fault most of the time it's basically really hard to make it look perfect and that's because we most of us has different eyes even though that I feel like my eyes are extremely unsymmetrical <laughs> I'm going to clean up the shape a little bit with some eyeshadow primer and it's important that you use a clean brush and also that you use a primer that has some kind of coverage like the one I'm using it's the glam light eye icing eyeshadow base or maybe the P. Louise base or gloss gods base there's several bases like that As you can see, I'm basically just shaping out this part. And this, my friends, is the secret to a precise eye look. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm a very messy applier. I will leave it like that for now and repeat it on the other eye. Okay, this is as even I can get it right now. I know it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. So now I will add a col some colors here in the, this outcut I just did. I will go in with the orange first. So to go back to what I was saying before, this formula is the good one, but I feel like it's really important that you use a more tacky base when you use it to make the mats to stick to your lids. And that's no problem for me because I'm always using this kind of base because I like my eyeshadow to be really impactful. I'm going to add another shade next to this one and I'm not entirely sure because I don't know what kind of vibe I'm going to for now. 
I think I will be a little bit boring and just add the cream color here to make it look like a nice blend. I really like that effect. All right. I'm trying to decide what to do here. I wish I had a little bit more lighter purple, but I think that I will try to mix the purple with the white and see if I can get a little bit more light tone. And I will tap it like this and then blend. Profusion did uh, recently launch their Halloween collection which uh, is with peanuts. In Swedish it's called Snobben. So the name peanuts doesn't make any sense at all for me. Because um, Snobben is a direct translation for Snoopy. And I don't know why he's called Peanuts in, in the US. But th that collection looks super cute. I don't think I will receive it in PR. I haven't seen anything yet at least. But um, I'm kind of interested in maybe picking up some things about from it anyway. We will see. I own so much makeup because, so I'm thinking like do I really need more? I don't have time to use everything I already own, you know. But it's a hobby, I love it so much. And that's something that I find to be really sad with creators who gets over a certain number of followers. They just seem to lose passion for makeup. So what I'm doing now is to take the brush that I had some purple on without adding some any new and just blending out the edges. And I will continue to blend and blend and blend until I feel like it's good enough. I'm always saying that I'm not particularly good at the chatty kind of videos. And I'm so sorry about that, but I'm trying to improve on that part, so. Let me know if you have some subject you want me to talk about. I think I will keep it quite simple on the lid and just blend out the edges, the, or the yellow edges here. Maybe a little bit in the inner part and the inner corner too. I will add a little bit of the orange next to the purple, just dab it like this. And now I will go in with a shimmer on the lid. I will use a glitter glue. I'm a little bit weird so I like to use my fingers to just tap it on like this. Glitter glue is applied and now I'm taking this a little bit fluffy brush and then I'm going to swirl it into the super sparkly silver shade in this palette. But I'm just tapping it a little bit because I don't want to get a super opaque effect. So I'm just dab, dabbing or whatever it's called in English. Just dab, dab, dab. And you see, I hope that you can see how sparkly this shade is. It's like uh, the same level as the shades you get in from indie brands. I'm just so in love with this shade. Oh wow, it's so stuck, so stuck. I will now take a clean brush and just blend around the edges because blending is important. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm kind of losing some of the purple, so I will just go back and add it. I 
I think there is some kind of yellow here by mistake, so I think I will, after all, just blend out a little bit more yellow here. This is kind of giving me candy corn vibes. I have actually never been eating candy corn. I don't think it's available here in Sweden. Some people like it and some people doesn't like it. I have no idea what it tastes like, to be honest. And regarding the low lash line, you know how I'm a sucker for a pop of color. Just like this isn't a pop of color, this whole look, but I'm kind of thinking about doing something unexpected here. I will add the Melt Cosmetics Onyx Ultra Matte Gel Liner on my lower lash line to build a base, so to say. Oh gosh, I did mess it up already. Uh... Oh gosh, I'm adding too much underneath here. Oh no, no, no. I will try and <laughs> on this eye and see how it will end up. So what I'm basically going to do is to add the blue here on top of it. I'm adding some of the leftovers here in the outer part. Not too much though. Now I will take a clean brush and I will add some of the white eyeshadow. I will blend it on the low lash line. And I will redo my concealer here because I'm noticing that I messed up a little bit. Okay, do you see what's happening? That's such a cool effect. I just need to Remove my concealer and redo it. That's completely my own fault. I will fix this mess and then I will come back to you. So now I have blended out the lower lashes and I also added some kind of a wing in the outer part of the lid. I, I'm not loving it. I think my, what my plan is to do an out cut here similar to the one up here because I don't like how it's looking right now. It's now looking like this, I'm going to add some eyeshadow here in the outcuts. I'm going to add the white matte in the inner part. And I'm adding quite a lot because I want it to be impactful. I will mix the yellow and ora orange shade and use as blush. Some mascara. Okay, so this is how we ended up like. I added some lashes, I added some brown dots all over my face for no particular reason, I just found it to be fun. I also added some liquid lipsticks from VE Cosmetics, it's in the shade Influence. What a perfect name for an influencer like me. So my conclusion about this collection is that if you are a fan of the TMNT, it's definitely worth picking up. It's quite good quality to be honest. I really enjoy the eyeshadow palette. You could probably skip the gel eyeshadows if you have problems with creasy lids. But as I said, they work perfectly fine on the cheeks too, so maybe you can use it for that if you want to. The lashes are really cute, I recommend them, but they are a little bit too uh, natural for my liking. And the mirror is obviously super cute. So if you are going to pick up something from this collection, I would definitely recommend the eyeshadow palette. It's the good formula, it's not the absolutely amazing formula, but it's still really good and I have enjoyed it 
creating looks with it. It's such a beautiful palette and I really love the shimmers. They are so impactful and beautiful on the lids. The only thing that I'm missing from this palette is maybe some lighter shades like a light purple for example. But that's easy to fix with the white shade. So overall I feel like Profusion has done such a great job with this collection. And now I'm kind of thinking of should I get the Snoopy, Snoopy or Peanut collection too? Please let me know if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about that collection. And please consider to subscribe to me if you're into indie makeup, colorful makeup or you just want to see me. Have a great day! Bye bye! The first thing I want to... Oh, okay. I just... <laughs> I basically forgot to tell you what I'm going to review. I'm grabbing a quite thin liner bra. What is it called? That's because the editing program I use is no, is no, is now. Uh, they want. They want. Some of you guys maybe. I will add my Mac. <laughs> no, no. I will add my. I will add the. I forgot the brand. Oh, battery's dying!